Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and the genre files are back. At least temporarily. I don't know how long it's going to last. But anyway, uh, so this week, uh, the genre is action. And for action, I have picked a movie called The Rundown. The Rundown is from, let's see, 2003. And uh, it stars Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, or at least I think at the time he was still known as The Rock. He was going by The Rock. Uh, he plays a, a guy named Beck. Uh, co-stars uh, Sean William Scott as Travis Walker. Sean William Scott was uh, still uh, riding this high from the American Pie movies. He was very popular in, in those movies. Also stars Rosario Dawson as Mariana. And uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. Uh, has a little little role, a supporting role in it. Uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. was a he was a child actor. Uh, uh, he did movies like uh, Red Sonia and a couple of others in the 80s. And then he ended up becoming a stuntman. And he's got a really great sequence here where he has this fight with the rock in the jungle. And uh, as the bad guy in the movie, the great Christopher Walken playing Hatcher. Uh, always great to see Christopher Walken in anything. He's really good in this film. And uh, an uncredited cameo by Arnold, uh, who was passing the baton on, uh, uh, I think this is when he had become governor, around the time that he had become a governor. So he was kind of passing the, the, the baton on to, uh, uh, to The Rock. So anyway, uh, so uh, Dwayne Johnson plays a bounty hunter who does work for a guy named Billy Walker. Uh, he's played by this character actor named William Luckin. Uh, you've probably seen him here and there. There's a lot of TV and movies uh, for a while now. Uh, but he wants out. He wants out of the, the life because he wants to open his own restaurant. So this guy, uh, Billy, says, well, he'll give him the money if he goes down to Brazil and does one last bounty, uh, which is to get his son back. He wants his son. Now, and of course, when he's down there, he runs afoul of Crystal Walken, who runs a mining operation. And uh, he wants John William Scott because uh, he's got some artifact that he has or something that he, that he really needs for him. Of course, he's making a lot of money off of it. So, uh, anyway, I actually, uh, I didn't know a lot about The Rock during his wrestling days. I wasn't really into that stuff. Uh, the last wrestler I remembered was Hulk Hogan. So, uh, around the time that The Rock was, was a wrestler, I didn't know that much about him. And I wasn't really that interested in him either. But uh, I s remember seeing him on Saturday Night Live, and I thought, oh, geez, another one of these sports guys hosting. And I hate it when they host because they're always so boring. But this guy turned out to be great. It's fan what was fantastic about him was that he's this big, hunky guy, and, you know, he's got the muscles and all that stuff. But he wasn't afraid to look stupid, you know. He was, he, he was on a comedy show, and he did these crazy things. I think he en ended up in drag at one point. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. That's, uh, he wasn't afraid to look dumb. He was confident. So, uh, so when this movie came out, I thought, oh, I'll give it a shot. And it was just great. It was actually a great action ride. Absolutely. I agree with that. Uh, the action is very over the top. It's almost silly at times. Uh, a lot of that uh, slow motion stuff that they did back then, like in 300. Uh, things that would just kill any guy in real life. But, of course, these guys survive. Uh, but... Uh, it's really great. You just you can't take it too seriously, and it's a lot of fun that way. It's a buddy film. Uh, it's it's similar to Midnight Run and other films like that, where you got the you got the bounty hunter chasing the annoying guy who he eventually becomes friends with, of course, uh, by the end of the movie. So it's very similar in, in that respect. But I think they I think they made a pretty good team up. You know, they they got along well. They had good chemistry. I I don't if I remember correctly, I don't think this movie did that well at the box office. I think it made it maybe even underperformed uh, and not even made up its budget. But, because uh, otherwise it, there would have been a sequel. I, I don't know. I always wanted to see a sequel. But uh, but it just it just never happened, I guess. It just never made it. It went on to other things. But uh, I thought it was really great. And it's, yeah, talk about action. This is an action film, definitely. Uh, definitely action, no doubt about that. It fits perfectly into the genre. Now, the DVD, it's got this little slip color here. Color cover. Uh, it's got a lot of good special features. It's got deleted scene, documentaries about uh, the making of the film, and uh, all these stuff, and much more. Well, that's true. It does have much more, and you got the rock kicking right there, so that's awesome. Uh, 
Uh, so really good DVD. Really enjoyed that one. Uh, back when they were still making uh, DVDs with special features and stuff. So so I really was happy when I caught this one. If you haven't seen The Rundown, it's, it's definitely a great action film. A lot of testosterone in there. Of course, you don't have to have testosterone in order to enjoy it. You just have to like action films. It's uh, Like I said, it's a lot of fun, a lot of action, a lot of silliness. Uh, definitely enjoy it in that respect. Uh, just just have a lot of fun with it and that's definitely what it's going to give you a lot of fun okay so that's my choice for the uh, genre files for action uh, the rundown check it out if you haven't seen it and uh, yeah we'll see you next time and keep watching those movies bye